All right, welcome uh, music and computers. So I'm gonna give you a preview of our last unit and uh, show you how to um, apply those base concepts actually in audio tool. So as you remember, my chord changes were E, G, A, C, and those are the four random notes that I picked to be my four whole notes uh, from, the, from the G major scale. So um, in chording, we pick three notes and play them together like this. Okay, and that's a unit four thing. That's going to be our last unit of learning. Um, so my next chord was was G, and that's going to take these three notes, and then I have an A chord. Um, which is gonna go down here. And then we're gonna have... All right, so we're gonna listen to this chord progression now. And uh, so that's kind of a fun little chord progression. I'm sure you've heard it in, in popular music. Um, and I just sort of chose that. And I'll show you how to do that too for the last unit. So I brought in two synthesizers here, um, as you can see. So I'm going to go to my second synthesizer here. And the reason why I chose to use two synthesizers is so that I could change the sound of the bass and not affect the chords. Okay, so you want to give these instruments some, some different tone and some different space so that you can hear them. And uh, so I'm going to open this up. Now, very simple. The first thing that I'm going to do for my bass line is I'm gonna come down here into the C3 and C4 kind of territory and I'm gonna go um, E, G, um, whoops, E, G, um, A, maybe we'll go A down here, Okay, so now you're going to hear that bass line when I play the chords back. Okay, and uh, so I like this because I have the motion going up and then down and then up. Okay, that's just... Uh, so let's look at some of the things that I did in the other video when I explained bass lines. This was the first thing that I did. So the second thing that I said was we could just change the rhythm. So if I change the rhythm to a half note, and I'm going to put a half note here, and a half note here, and a half note here, and I can do that here. So now we can listen to that back. turn my pulverizer to number one down just a touch so that we can hear the bass note just a little stronger So let's try this um, with quarter notes now. Um, and I'm going to change the sound. If I right click 
on the um, on the base one, I can load a preset that'll that'll change that'll change the sound. Um, so let's try let's try this. So this should change the bass sound now we can hear that back. Okay. And so then we can of course go through and do the same thing with quarter notes. Um, so what I'm doing over here, I'm just, uh, I'm going up here to where it says quarter. So this was bar, half note, quarter. Um, so I can change it to quarter notes now. So I'm going to show you a slightly different way when you're repeating notes. To program so if you're doing a lot of notes it actually is better to just put the one note in and you can have it repeat so my first note is going to be this E okay and that's going to repeat for those four bars okay. and then I can put another quarter note in here so that'll be the G and I can extend that for the bar bring this one here so when I shrink when I shrink this down to a quarter note and extend this it'll just keep repeating that quarter note so then I can do it here again so now I'm going to go down to the to the A. And then um, up to the C. So now, even though I only put in four notes, you're going to hear those four quarter notes every time. For some reason, it's not um, it's not sounding up here, even though that's the same. And I think it has to do with um, the other tone is overlapping it. But that's okay. We can fix that later. Um, so again, if I wanted to change this to eighth notes, all I have to do is come over here turn it into an eighth note and then put just the one in and then shrink that down to that so now it's going to repeat this one eighth note for the whole bar so I don't have to click eight of them in there so now you're going to hear right so you heard that eighth note bump 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 right um, so now we talked about using um, using a pattern. So if I use two eighth notes, and let's say I have, we talked about using the E above, right? So have, have a listen to this now. Okay. So then I can do that to the other, um, to the other ones, so I'm just gonna need maybe the the G above there. So we'll turn that into a G, and then up there, and then we can do the same thing here for our A. So we're gonna take this A, turn it into an eighth note. And then up here, we'll do this for the C, turn the C into an eighth note. So now you're going to hear that octave pattern.
course, I told you um, the other notes that, that you could do. Um, for instance, we looked at we looked at this pattern here. Um, so if I extend this out, we talked about this pattern here. So I'm going to extend it out for two more eighth notes. And uh, so this was the um, the idea I showed you after the octaves. Um, so here we've got the E and the high E. And then if we go up from E, um, five letter names, E, F, G, A, B, and use the B that's in the scale, if it's sharp or flat or natural. In this case, it's natural. So I'm going to use that B that's five notes away, and then the E again. So now listen to this. So I can, of course, copy that pattern into into the other three bars and keeping that E, E, B, E, and then over G, it would be G, G, D, because the f fifth letter away from G, G, A, B, C, D is D, and in the key of G, the D is natural, so I'm going to use the natural. If it was sharp, I'd use the sharp. If it was flat, I'd use the flat. But in this case, um, in the key of G, all the Ds are natural. And then in uh, A, it would be A, B, C, D, E. So for A, I would go A, A, E, A. And I could make that pattern work through any chord progression. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off here because it's getting a little bit long. And uh, I'm going to show you the other tricks in a separate video so it doesn't get too long for YouTube, okay? Um, hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to go over any of this in an MS Teams uh, format, just send me an email and we can set up a time. See you later, music and computers.